Hi, welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 3. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 32 of Book 3, which states that if we have a line EF touching a circle at point B, and if we draw a line B such that it intersects the circle at point D, then the angles on one side of this of these two lines will be the angle inscribed in the segment circle on the other side of the angle. So theta will be equal to the angle subscribed here, which is lambda. So we have theta is equal to lambda. We're also stating that beta would be equal to alpha. So again, we take an angle, we look at the opposite segment and the angle within that segment will be equal. Alpha equals beta and before theta is equal to lambda. So to prove this, first we draw a line AB at right angles to EF. Now since EF touches the circle, AB is at right angles to EF, AB must also be th the diameter of the circle according to Proposition 19 of Book 3. So if AB is the diameter, this is a semicircle, and therefore ADB is equal to a right angle. Looking at this triangle, the, any, the sum of the angles in a triangle is two right angles. We already have one, so we have alpha plus gamma is a right angle for Proposition 32 of Book 1. These two must equal 90 degrees, the sum of them together. Now, beta plus gamma is equal to one right angle. We have alpha plus gamma is equal to a right angle. We have beta plus gamma is equal to a right angle. Or in other words, alpha is equal to beta. Now, you, if you will recall, any angle in a circle segment will be equal to any other angle in a circle segment. So if this is alpha, then this is also alpha. So we have shown that alpha is equal to beta. Now alpha plus lambda has to equal to two right angles, according to Proposition 22 of Book 3. So we, if alpha plus lambda is two right angles, lambda is equal to right angles minus alpha. But here we've already stated that alpha plus gamma is a right angle. So we are using this here, where alpha is equal to gamma minus a right angle. Take this, put it into that part of the equation, and ultimately we end up with that lambda is a right angle plus gamma. So lambda is a right angle plus gamma. But angle theta is equal to a right angle plus gamma. Here we have theta is equal to something and lambda is equal to the same thing, or in other words, theta is equal to lambda. So here we have shown that theta is equal to lambda, and we've shown that alpha is equal to beta, which is what this proposition was trying to state. Again, that the angle from here to here will be equal to the angle inside of this circular segment. And thus, we've demonstrated the proposition. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the Next button.